happened to me other than, you know, obviously my son's being born as I was volunteering in a prison a few months ago and we were doing this talk. And at the end of the talk, this like giant guy <laughs> comes up to me, you know, um, very rough around the edges, you know, gold teeth tattooed up like myself. And he said, I love you, man. And he hugged me and the vibrations that that set off in my soul just confirmed and validated everything that I'm doing. Welcome to the Miracle Plant Podcast, the show that inspires, promotes, and gives you a daily dose of inspiration from the people who have used cannabis to change their lives in extraordinary ways. Here's your host, Justin Benton. Welcome back to the Miracle Plant Podcast, where we discuss this miracle plant with so many names and how it's helping people in so many extraordinary ways. Well, today we are having just so much fun over here at Twitter Spaces. We've invited some great podcast, um, actual people that have their own podcast to come on the Miracle Plant Podcast to talk about their missions and how we can find ways to align uh, with our mission to reach 1 billion people. Uh, by 2025 about the power of this miracle plant and taking control of their health. So today we are bringing on Robert Prash. Uh, he has his own podcast called Creating Greatness. And uh, he was so nice to join us here on Twitter Spaces. So Robert, welcome to the Miracle Plant Podcast. How you doing? I am doing fantastic, gentlemen. Thank you so much for having me today. I'm very excited. Absolutely. Well, great to have you. And of course, as always, we have Dan Hummiston. Uh, a co-host here as well, joining us. How are we doing today, Dan? Doing great. Anxious to hear more from Ro- Ro- about Robert's show today. Yeah, let's get into it, Robert. Tell us a little bit about your podcast, how you got inspired, and uh, let's find ways to collaborate and help people, right? Create some greatness. Absolutely, man. Uh, I won't go into an in-depth detail uh, um, of how this all came about, but um, I will try to simplify it as best I can. Uh, basically, uh, it's coming from an individual who was um, very sick, narcissistic, um, toxic, many uh, negative emotions and self-destructive thoughts that um, my inability to manage those thoughts and feelings um, really led me down a lot of dark, dark paths in life. You know, I've, I've seen uh, my personal rock bottom and along the way. Fortunately for me, I was introduced to some basic concepts and literature on karma and yoga and meditation. And I sort of combined that with the power of prayer in my life and totally transformed my life from one of misery and degradation to one uh, of limitlessness. And uh, my purpose with it used to be chasing greatness. It used to be my podcast was just to share how I did it, man. I remember waking up being miserable and really not wanting to exist anymore and, and asking God why that he would not take me away and take this pain away to come from there to a place of joy and peace and happiness and prosperity is a powerful thing. And I remember looking at people that were with me while I was down and looking people on my way up and thinking, they don't know, man, you know, they don't know. And as I work my way up, I say, they don't know that the secrets are so simple. I want to share these basic universal truths that are really life changing. So I started this podcast called Chasing Greatness. And then about two years ago, or maybe a year ago, an epiphany hit me like a ton of bricks. Like, what am I chasing, man? We as the human beings, the the human spirit are, are Everything that we possibly can imagine, we already are. We already are there. We just have to cultivate these things from within. So I say, I'm not chasing anything anymore. I'm now creating, and and that is uh, why I named the show Creating Greatness. Love it, man. Love it. Well, we talk about mindset a lot. We actually have a a summit that we do on a a semi-regular basis, which is uh, called Take Control of Your Health. And one of the pillars of the five pillars is mindset. And we talk a lot about you know, how we get ourselves in the right headspace, whether it's journaling or meditation or prayer or exercise or, uh, you know, reading books or podcasts or who you surround yourself with and, and really reprogramming that old $2 million brain, lizard brain that we have looking for fear and what's wrong to actually, uh, you know, being grateful and, and reprogramming that brain to look for what's right. <laughs> so that's super awesome, brother. I'm, I'm excited to hear that. And, and there's no reason to chase what we already have within, right? It's already there. So that's uh, such a cool thing to do as well. So tell us more about uh, how the podcast is going and, 
and some of the results and the impact that you're having, uh, helping people, uh, you know, take control of their mindset? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Justin, it has certainly been a, a slow crawl um, in this podcasting journey and journeying from being a nine to five worker into, you know, stay at home. I'm a personal trainer and podcaster, do a little bit of trading, uh, invest in crypto and stuff like that. So it's been a transition and there's been moments where I have thought I'm not reaching enough people. You know, my message is powerful. I have to get it out there. Um, so I started volunteering uh, in my local community in the prisons and, and the homeless shelters to enhance uh, my impact. But the podcast is really starting to progress now. It, it's, it's funny that you hear people that have made it say this when it starts to happen. It's like nothing for so long, right? And then all of a sudden things start happening. Um, like I heard you and Dan talking about podcast guests, and now I'm getting invited on all sorts of podcasts and I'm inviting people to come on mine. I switched from strictly uh, audio to visual and I'm getting a lot more feedback from that angle and actually uh, making compensation through live stream talking on wisdom and uh, creating reels on Facebook. And more and more people are engaging, more and more people are letting me know that, that my message impacts them or helps them through the day and it's just the most powerful thing that i could possibly be doing you know i shared on a wisdom talk the other day and it was literally maybe the most powerful thing that that's ever happened to me other than you know obviously my son's being born as i was volunteering in a prison a few months ago and we were doing this talk and at the end of the talk this like giant guy <laughs> comes up to me you know um very rough around the edges, you know, gold teeth tattooed up like myself. And he said, I love you, man. And he hugged me. And the vibrations that that set off in my soul just confirmed and validated everything that I'm doing. That's awesome, man. That's so awesome. And yeah, I can relate as I think anybody with a podcast can relate that it can be real slow. Uh, in the beginning, I, one of my marketing mentors, Russell Brunson, talks about that, you know, he he wasn't able to check his downloads for the first three years. And he said, thank God I wasn't because I probably would have quit. And and it, it's just like, you know, we see these series like Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul or Game of Thrones. And a lot of these big series, they don't get popular or they don't hit like that crescendo until like they've been out for three or four seasons and then everyone binge watches and catches them all up. So, uh, so glad that you're hanging in there and fighting the good fight. Cause you got a message, you got a big enough why to keep, to keep talking, to keep sharing. And, and you're seeing that it helps. I know Dan, uh, who's the producer of this show and like, you know, dozens of others, uh, in the hemp and cannabis space could probably speak quite a bit to that. Uh, couldn't you, Dan, what do you think about those early days and, and perseverance? Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to get people to, except the fact that it's going to take a little bit of time for their show to gain some traction. And once you get out, outside of your friends and family, it's, it's, it's tricky to get it to that next, to move it beyond that into that next sphere. But I, Justin, you said, you said something, you've said it a couple times on some of our shows that is always resonated with me. And that is what you're creating today is going to be here years and years and years and years and years from now. And people are going to listen to this. So I sometimes take solace in that saying it's not, ex it's not even what the audience that I have today, it could be the audience that I have a hundred years from now. And I think if you think about it that way, it gives you more inspiration to keep pressing on through those, through those low downloads, load periods. Absolutely. And I, I also think like, if you look back at it, like, you know, we all talk about writing our book and, you know, like the end of life, my, your memoirs, right? And if you're doing a podcast on a, on a regular basis for a, a decent period of time, there's your book. That's your life. And you can just upload this to rev.com. And now you've got it all transcribed. And even I know, Dan, you transcribe and have a lot of the of the words of the, right there on the web, on the podcast page. And that is your your legacy, like for your kids or for whatever. Or if you need an idea, like I'll, I'll find myself listening to old podcasts because uh, I'll send them out. You know, like, ooh, this one on cancer and how it helps. And then you listen to it again and you'll say something in that podcast in your own voice. You're like, oh, yeah, man, I totally forgot about that. That endocannabinoid system, CB2 receptor or whatever. And it's also like a good legacy for yourself and a great reminder. So the, the podcast is so cool. Uh, and it's such an amazing legacy. So 
That's uh, that's a great. I don't point. want to steal any of Robert's time, but I do. There, I have. A, I just want to go, go leave you guys or I'll tell you guys an interesting quick story. I was on the phone with a, with a, a gentleman about a podcast, and he was talking to me about his podcast, and he said that he created a post mortem episode that he's got teed up so that if anything ever happens to him, it plays. So, <laughs> so think think about. I mean. It's kind of an interesting idea that he's going to, he has an episode that he's already created that will just want, you know, like, let's just say that he falls over, heaven forbid, from a heart attack. And, you know, two weeks later is, 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 is no one would expect it, but there's an episode a post-mortem. I thought, what a clever idea. That's awesome. That reminds me, we took the kids and we took one that was a little under 13 to Avatar 2. And uh, the guy, the, the, the mean general or whatever, uh, had a video for the Avatar version of himself, um, you know, basically saying, well, if you're watching this, that means I didn't make it, which I will never allow myself not to make it. But I guess somehow something happened. And so, yeah, that's wild uh, to, to, to do a, a podcast, you know, and, and you like we're doing right now, we, we, we've got a whole bunch of podcasters that we're bringing on. Um, to talk like, you know, you could you could build a, a, a whole, you know, bunch of podcasts that could go on, could keep going on well after you live. And and, and uh, but it is your legacy is there. And uh, yeah, so just that's crazy to think about. Any thoughts on that, Robert? Uh, just that I would like to steal that idea. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool um, that you could do that. And it just speaks to the freeness and the openness and and the complexities now of the podcast scene it, it's really an interesting place to be and i i really like that idea uh i, I maybe have to get in touch with this guy and ask permission to to steal it you know that way uh, everyone knows exactly the plans you have laid out and and yeah you are also creating your legacy like that if you wanted to write a book like that the consistency and the focusing on the quality of the content it, it, it's uh yeah you can always dig back in the archives for ideas heck yeah well i actually know that i'm i probably I, i've got a couple of books that i've been working on but i just haven't had anything that i had to get done but if i had to get something done in like 30 days to write a book i know i could i would just go back through the podcasts i would take the transcripts and each podcast would be a chapter put 10 chapters together and then i would uh, have a book and so um i might have to do that we have a, a cool new offer that went there. So that's another amazing thing about these podcasts that maybe we don't, uh, we don't uh, necessarily, um, you know, think of right now, but the long-term legacy is certainly there. So, well, it looks like we've come about to the end of our time, Robert, I wanted to leave you with any parting thoughts or shots or, or anything here on the miracle plant podcast to share with our listeners for your legacy. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, the pressure is there because I literally thought we were having a, a phone call about a future podcast. So now I'm on the spot. But um, yeah, basically, my podcast, Creating Greatness, is just about, um, you know, being able to effectively manage your thoughts and your emotions and put them forth into actions. I lay detailed plans on how to improve the quality of your life and those around you. And I do it just about once a week. Um, I'm always open and receptive to other ideas at creating greatness podcast at Gmail. And, um, yeah, can you come back with two K's on all the social media apps? And, um, I just really appreciate you guys having me on. I appreciate you taking the time for me to share uh, what I have to say. And I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their day. Absolutely. Wonderful. Well, here's something we do at the end of every one of our Miracle Plant podcasts. We count to three and we say heal the world because that is our mission to reach one billion people by 2025 about the power of this miracle plant in the raw form and how it helped my son recover from a severe autism diagnosis. And it's helped people with cancer, Parkinson's, all of those kinds of things. So now you're a part of that mission with us as well, Robert, to get the word out that there's a plant that's been misunderstood that you can either rub on for pain or take under the tongue for a myriad of different health issues. So on the count of three, we're going to say heal the world. Ready? One, two, three. Heal the heal, world. Heal the world. Everybody for tuning in to the Miracle Plan Podcast, and we will see you next week. Until Thank you so then, much, guys. You betcha. Be a blessing. Take care. Thanks for listening to today's show. To check out more great cannabis podcasts, go to podconnects.com.
Here's a preview of one of our other shows. Hey friends, I'm Brandon and I'm Saba and we are your host of the Cannabis Hangout podcast, an educational platform to connect with the cannabis community and share personal stories while breaking the stigma of marijuana. Join us every Sunday at 7 p.m. to gain valuable insight with different perspectives from industry leaders, growers, and medical marijuana patients. This is a place to learn so much from different angles in the cannabis industry. So tune in while while we we break break it all down. down.